All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I thought it would be cool to do a then and now comparison video on one of my favorite bodybuilders from back in the day, and that is Marco Savalainen. Now, Marco did the majority of his competitions in the 1990s, retiring in 2003, then he made a brief comeback in 2006. Um, but prior to that, he had kind of built up a name for himself um, and a reputation with his physique based on the insane size of his arms, particularly his biceps, and he made a pretty good case for himself um, for having arguably some of the biggest and best arms in bodybuilding during the 1990s. You know, people talk about bicep peaks and shape and insertions, but when you're talking about Marco, you've really got to call them mountains. I mean, this guy's biceps were ridiculous. They were off the charts. Now, supposedly, the official measurement for his arms at his physical peak was 24 inches which for the record was bigger than Dorian Yates or Coleman or Cutler or any of the top bodybuilders during that time. And Marco held the nickname of Supermass, which was a nickname that he earned for carrying an off-season body weight of excess 310 pounds and in contest condition weighing roughly 270 pounds, which again was right around the range of a top bodybuilder, one of the best Mr. Olympias ever, Ronnie Coleman, right around the same weight as Ronnie Coleman, but a little bit shorter than Ronnie, and actually a little bit heavier than Dorian Yates, the Mr. Olympia during that period of time. And keep in mind, Dorian was considered the original mass monster, so for Marco to have these reported weights in the 270s in contest condition, that is a big dude for the mid to late 1990s. So Marco was a Finnish bodybuilder, meaning he is from Finland, so he competed primarily in Finland, so we never got to see him on a stage like the Olympia or the Arnold Classic. The only bigger stage we really ever saw him on was the 2001 Ironman Pro, um, but he mostly competed in Finland in the Finnish Pro and the Finnish Nationals where he earned his pro card. So he competed in the Finnish Pro Grand Prix two times, placing 7th and ninth, respectively, um, and then in 2001 when he competed at the Ironman, he placed 12th there. So we never really got to see how he would look next to a guy like a Ronnie Coleman or Jay Cutler or some of these other bodybuilders that were similar to him in size. But I think with the size that he had, his structure and his shape suffered a little bit. I think his conditioning suffered as well, and that's what resulted in some of the placings that he got. Um, so he's kind of a lesser-known bodybuilder in the regard of he never really won any major shows or competed in major shows or had any crazy placings or rivalries with these top guys of the era. And his career was relatively short-lived. I mean, he was basically forced to retire um, due to kidney issues, kidney failure. Um, and I believe he actually had a full kidney replacement. Um, he had a kidney donor in 2008. Um, but when he was forced to retire, I think it was around 2006, was his official retirement from bodybuilding um, where he said he would continue to train, but only naturally, meaning no anabolics. And supposedly, Marco has been natural ever since that kidney replacement and ever since um, that retirement. So he's now 47 years old and he still trains, but again, supposedly he's been natural ever since. Um, but I wanted to do kind of a now and then because at 47, even though he's in really good shape, um, his biceps or where his biceps used to be, you could say, um, really look like a shadow of themselves. And they really almost have a weird appearance to them. And back when he competed, um, there's a lot of speculation that he might have used some kind of sight enhancement oil um, or synthol on his biceps, although that was never confirmed by him. And nobody really knows for sure. But in recent pictures and videos, um, it appears that his triceps are extremely dominant. And his biceps, um, it almost looks like there's just loose skin there. It looks like the bicep... Um, just shrank dramatically and where his biceps used to be his dominant muscle group in his arm um, it's kind of just it's a, it's a weird looking phenomenon however I do think this is a positive outcome in bodybuilding I mean for someone to go through something like that even though it forced them to retire from the sport um, to go through kidney failure and survive and to be able to get a kidney donor and to be able to continue training until almost the age of 50 and still be in incredible shape naturally. Again, he claims he's natural. Um, I think that's a tremendous accomplishment and something that should be celebrated. But I did want to point out for somebody that at one point had arguably the best biceps in the world, if it wasn't oil, I mean, the shape of his peaks, the size of his peaks, it was ridiculous. I mean, it was like nothing anybody had ever seen um, in, in contrast to now. I mean, it almost just looks like they're non-existent. And I, like I said, I just think it's a very interesting phenomena. Um, and that's why I wanted to make this kind of a then and now video on Marco Savalainen. But in any case, I believe he's a legend. If you didn't know about him before, now you know. So please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed already. And as always, 
Nick Strength and Power, signing out.